hey guys what is good or welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here my name is unique so guys in today's video i'm going to be speaking about how people are your mirror right um i've mentioned this in a few of my past videos that life presents people as your mirror to show you you all relationship is essentially about yourself you experience yourself through other people it's through that interaction with other people using other people as a stimuli is where you get to learn yourself is where you get to learn your personalities where you get to learn i'm like this i'm like that when someone do this to me i react this way i act that way i'm a loving person you know there's certain things in life that you can't experience unless you've got someone else you don't know what it's like to kiss your lips you don't know what it's like to make love to you like you experience you through other people so in this video i'm going to be delving into how people are your mirror um, and how you should use that to kind of help you to master yourself to grow to evolve to understand yourself to learn yourself um, and not see yourself as a victim in life and not see the external world as something that's actually separate to you it's actually very much a part of you because everything is very interconnected so the thought rule is basically that everything that you think has the potential to be experienced into the physical reality everything stems from a thought you know it's one of the hermetic principles that all is mental everything stems from the mind we are living out the projection of our minds right um even this camera i'm filming on the 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 concept of that camera started here so the thought rule is that everything that you think has the potential to be um, actualized and realized and manifested in the physical right your entire life is a reflection of how you think right the things that you like and dislike in others are part of your consciousness the things you admire the qualities you admire in someone is a part of who you are the qualities that you dislike in people sometimes has something to do with you anything outside that triggers you has something to do with you right so therefore to change anything in a relationship you have to change the way you look at stuff change the way you see it um I feel like when you go about life in a very uh, positive way, you see the positive because the law says anything that you focus on, it expands. So if you focus on just negativity, that just becomes very big and in your face and you keep meeting negative experience because you that's what you focus on and that's what you keep attracting and bringing into your consciousness and your awareness. Where if you go out and you see the positives or the good in people, you tend to experience that back and that's just a simple law. Um, so whenever you're dealing with others, essentially you're really just dealing with yourself. Um, you know the negative things we say to ourselves the positive things we say to ourselves others come to us as a mirror and reaffirm those things so it's just a physical manifestation of it it's like when you say to yourself you know you're ugly or you think stuff like that about yourself or I don't like this about myself I don't like my eyes I don't like my nose I don't like my lips and then you know someone will come and troll you and say oh your nose is big or your lips are big I can't stand you you're ugly it's nothing that you've not said to yourself and kind of put that out there in the universe and someone's just kind of pop up and saying it back to you it's it's nothing that you've not already said to yourself so they they came to you as a mirror of the doubt that you've buried within you to show show it to you so you can look at it right because when you think about it thoughts are you thinking your thoughts or are you listening to them you know i love that question are you thinking your thoughts or are you listening? Are thoughts just nothing but like uh, frequency sounds that's passing and your body is like a radio transmitter that's just receiving them? And I feel like the quality of thoughts um, that you receive is based on the vibration you're on. It's based on where you are mentally, you know, what you've kind of attached yourself to. If you've kind of attached yourself to too much negativity and you're on that frequency of just a lower vibration, you tend to receive a lot of low vibration thoughts. If you kind of on a higher vibration, you tend to receive higher vibrational thoughts. Even just saying that people are your mirror, there's something in the human brain that's called mirror neurons. And mirror neurons is the reason you want to filter who you allow in your consciousness, who you follow, who you watch, who you listen to. Because a mirror neuron is something that fires, something in the brain. It's something in the brain that fires both when someone is in the act of something or when you're observing that person in the act of something and i feel like this part of the brain has a lot to do with um how people empathize as well sometimes people who lack empathy i feel like there's something wrong with the mirror neurons in their brain so mirror neurons um are basically is it fires off when you're observing something um and what you're observing you get the same feeling sensation emotions from it is it's why you can be watching something and 
it makes you cry or you're you know you've got strong empathy because whatever you see or observe someone going through um you start to feel the same way as well because the same neurons that you're observing in the act um, in that person is starting to fire off in you as well and this is because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between um what you're observing and what's going on personally for you because the reality of life is there is no true separation right so we all have mirror neurons in our brain and when we're observing something this is why you can see someone cry and you you start you want to cry because the same neurons that's firing and, and evoking that in them it starts to evoke in you because your super conscious mind that's observing it doesn't know the difference that that's someone outside of you crying it's not actually you crying it sees the action and it, it generates the same feeling so even considering mirror neurons as a factor that's how you know people present themselves as your mirror um, it shows you the interconnectedness of life it shows you that essentially everything is really one and everybody's you essentially and everybody's here showing you parts of yourself parts of your shadow parts of you know your traumas um, places you need healing your blind spots um, bringing it to your awareness bringing it to your awareness so you can look at it because we have a, we have a tendency to bury these things we have a tendency to mask and cloak ourselves and walk around and not thinking about these things not wanting to deal with these things and then you'll meet a partner or you'll meet a friend who'll just come and just dig it up and just present it to you and then you're faced with it and then you start to look at that person that person's a devil that part, person's a demon no that person's reflecting um to you part of your shadow aspect part of you that's still unhealed part of you that's still traumatized part of you that needs to be triggered because you have to reveal it to heal it you have to bring it to the surface to look at it and we tend to bury it we tend to bury it we don't want to deal with it let me go out let me go drink let me go smoke let me go have sex let me do everything but sit down and face this deep dark part of me that i've buried somewhere and this is where the shadow aspect of a lot of people is, um, is born and i'm going to do a video on the shadow self as well so you know people are your mirrors people are there to be used as your tools the angels and the demons they come in the shape and the form of people and everybody there whether it's good or bad or whatever you perceive it to be they're all there for your greater good believe it or not and this is why you'll meet people who will amplify you some we've all experienced stepping in a room or meeting someone that just amplifies your insecurities because it's part of your consciousness it's part of the things you're struggling with um and sometimes you know people get triggered by that like Sometimes people can get triggered by you if you're too confident or people can perceive it as she's just too cocky or too she's too this or she's too that. But it's because maybe they struggle with confidence, you know. Um, so it, it's a lot of things to do with that. People get jealous, get insecure by things that they fight with within themselves. When other people come and act as a trigger for those things that they're struggling within themselves, others come as the form of their mirror. Um... And this is not to negate the fact that there, there's not negative people in this world because there is negative people in this world. There is some arseholes in this world. Um, but it's to understand that everybody is projecting themselves onto you. I'm projecting myself onto you. You're projecting yourself onto me. But I think the whole point of understanding mirroring is to understand yourself and to know what it is, what it is that you're projecting because what it is you're projecting is what you're getting back. So if you're projecting insecurities and then you get back someone in a relationship to come and show you that you're insecure by hurting you or doing something to you, that's trying to show you you. That's trying to sh show you that, hey, look, you are actually an insecure person. This is something you need to deal with. This is something you need to heal. This is something you need to work on. So I'm not going to negate that, even though people are your mirror, that pe some people aren't just, you know, difficult. Some people aren't just assholes or people, you know, who you think you're not mirroring me i'm not like you you have some people like that but you know they are projecting themselves on you but you're also projecting yourself on them and what you should use them for is to see what they're projecting back to you whatever they're projecting back to you sometimes it has more to do with you than it's, it has to do with them because when they project it back to you it's how you respond to it it's how you receive it if you if you if that person's a negative person and you look at it like oh i'm not even going to take this personal like your fight is with you, your fight is not even with me, like you're battling yourself right now, it's got nothing to do with me, then that shows what you're projecting, it shows your state of mind, it shows your state of awareness, your state of evolving. If you think about you didn't have people to oppose you, if you didn't have people to trigger you, to hurt you, you wouldn't know yourself on a 360. Because when they do those things, they present to you your traumas, your triggers, your blind spot. 
they bring it to the forefront they bring it to your awareness now you're faced with it you can look at it and heal it so what you say to those people is thank you you know life is like a big stage man and everybody's playing their part so when you've got your op who come and trigger you and hurt you and poke you and prod you and you know show you the the places that you're you need work on show you your blind spots show you your weaknesses don't look at yourself as a victim and that this person is kind of attacking you look at it and tell them thank you thank you for playing your role so beautifully beautifully thank you for helping me to identify my blind spots thank you for bringing this to my awareness now i can look at it now i can heal it because had you not come and do that i wouldn't have known all these things about myself through this adversary through this interaction i've learned so much about me i've taught as i've said in all my videos your relationship with others is about you your longest standing relationship is with yourself and you learn yourself through others you need other people that's the whole point of life that's the whole point that, that life exists and life created duality. Duality helps you to learn who you are, what you what you are, what you're not, you know? So, you know, people are your mirror. You look at the relationships you have, look at the dynamics within the relationship, look how you re react, how you respond in certain things and use, take those away and know that it's about you more than anyone else. It's not about them, it's about you. And if you can tweak and fix those things, and even fix the way you start to see things and look at things. You can tweak a lot of things about your life. You can tweak a lot of things about your own vi vi vibration and frequency, and you can attract better to you if you use those relationships as the tools they are, which is there to help you evolve. You know, because what you do to self, you do to other. What you do to um, what you do to other, you do to self. That's just the paradox of life. It's just a big loop. You know, so it's like. You really have to change you first, as MJ says, the man in the mirror, change you first to change the reflection. Um, and then, you know, life will interact with you in a different way, but you have to start with you. And this is why I always tell people, like, when people say they hate their ex and they're this and they're that, and it's like, when you hate someone or when, when the love turns to hate, you're still in a relationship with them. It's just from a negative point of view. You still have to hold that energy inside of you of hate, conjure that energy, carry that with you. You have to carry it. It's weighing you down to project that on that other person. So essentially, you're damaging yourself. And being angry and hating someone is like, you know, you drinking the poison and expect the other person to die. It's not gonna happen, you know? So what you do to self, you do to other. What you do to other, you do to self. So if you wanna change the reflection, if you wanna change um the things that's coming up in your relationships the triggers the traumas you have to first change you then change your perspective um making judgment is a very natural part of life we go about our days every day we have to judge things you know judge if we if it's safe if it's not to do this to do that so it's a very natural part of who we are but to become very aware of how you're judging people and the things you're seeing um, and if you're constantly seeing that type of thing, maybe you need to shift how you look at things, change your perspective a little bit, um, you know, come into some acceptance about life, about other people, that people are different, there's diversity, etc, etc. In religion, they make a lot of reference to Judgment Day, Judgment Day. Every day is Judgment Day. Every single day is Judgment Day because every day we judge. This is where our free will come in. Every single day we judge. This is why in the Egyptian spiritual system, they have that scale. Um, and on the scale you've got the heart and you've got a feather and the reason that is is because we are the ones who judge ourselves when you do something and you know it's right or wrong it plays on your conscience like you make judgment of yourself so that that's why every day is judgment day so the egyptian um scale with the heart and feather mean that when you go to bed at night your heart should feel as light as a feather and if your heart does not feel as light as a feather it means that you've done you've done stuff where you've judged yourself that you know that's not right and you need to fix those things you know so that's what it really comes down to change you change how you perceive heal the things that's shown to you about yourself and then you'll probably project in a more positive way rather than in a negative way and then when others are being negative and projecting on you you'll quickly identify that and not take it personal it's like what the video i made the other day like let me be single in peace when people project on me like you need to get married like there's an urgency you need to do this now blah 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 i've you know, I've got to the place where I've had to separate myself from that. I'm like, that's your fear. That's your anxiety about that. Like, I'm, I'm okay. Like, that's your projection. I'm able to distinguish that. So now I don't really take it personal. I'm just like, that's your own fears that you're projecting onto me. And we do that a lot. 
not only do people project their own fears and insecurities and stuff on you you also project onto people but the more self-aware you become the more you can deal with and address these things um, so yeah it's just a quick video just to let you understand the concept of mirroring and that everybody you face is essentially your mirror everybody you face is essentially showing you parts of yourself whether in a, a a good aspect or a bad aspect and the things that you perceive to be you know the bad aspect is the things that is showing you that you need to work on the things you hate so much within a person sometimes it's telling you something about yourself like for me i'm really triggered with my son because he's really untidy and disorganized and i'm a very organized person but i feel like that is mirroring back to me that I, maybe i'm too rigid maybe i need to go a little bit more easy with myself and be a bit more flexible um, and understand that yeah it's good to be organized but also allow a bit of flow allow life to sometimes you know be and do what it needs to do and sometimes when we see ourselves as a victim like someone's hurting us um, oftentimes we're not even aware that we're probably doing the same things and actions to someone else that we perceive that that person's doing to us so use your relationships to help you identify what's really going on with you and the things that's un that shows up that's uncomfortable that um, you know is difficult and challenging just look at those as the things you need to deal with the things you need to work on the things you need to heal and understand that people are your mirror people are there to help you level up people are there to help you with your eyes people are supposed to trigger you this is how you're going to come into your healing this is how you're going to come into your mastery this is how you're going to come to your higher self and awareness anyway guys just short and sweet i just wanted to um, give you a little bit on that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do hit me with a like subscribe share and i'll see you in my next video guys peace